Ongoing turmoil in the Detroit public schools. Time is running out as there are just about 29 days left to find a solution to fix DPS before the money runs out. Less than 30 days from now, Detroit public school teachers and workers would get their last paycheck unless Lansing delivers some kind of financial rescue. Well, we knew it was bad, Devin, but those sobering words today from Judge Stephen Rhodes, the new transitional manager for DPS. Let's get to Guy Gordon. He joins us li now live with more. And now we know just how dire the situation is, Guy. Carmen and Devin, they now have a deadline up in Lansing. They know when they have to act by because for a lot of families, DPS is like that cash machine there. They rely on it. So just imagine, come April 9th, if that DPS cash machine is empty. That means no money for teacher salaries, uh, no money for vendors that do business with the district, no money for kids' lunches or breakfasts. What's the last date we can expect people to work and get paid? Last Thursday, Rhodes dove into the district's financial books with new experts, and the answer? Is the pay period that ends on April 8th. So this is an urgent matter for us. The new school chiefs were grilled by outstate lawmakers who are being challenged by their own constituents to justify spending $715 million on Detroit. They're telling me, well, if we give $715 million to Detroit public schools, then those are other programs and services that are going to have to be cut for our community. The debt is not the fault of the children, um, and yet they are the ones suffering because of decisions adults have made. We are now operating in the black. We're operating on less money than we're taking in, but for the debt. He revealed a major financial services firm has stepped in to help with the turnaround free of charge. People in Detroit want to help DPS. They do. They just, we just need to find them and ask them. He assured Democrats he is not just another emergency manager or a babysitter, that he is committed to local control. Should we trust the people of the city of Detroit uh, to govern DPS successfully? Of course we should. Absolutely we should. And he called on the people of Detroit to hold that school board accountable. He did say there will be a financial review commission just like with the city of Detroit to oversee things. Now, ousted union president Steve Kahn says the only recourse here is a teacher strike. Uh, they claim they're going to be taking a vote tomorrow at 430. Rhodes was asked about that up in Lansing. He says he's been assured by the DFT there will there'll be no work stoppage. We're live uh, from Midtown. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Devin and Carmen, back to you. Uh, Guy, I'm just wondering if bankruptcy has come up because he is a bankruptcy judge. Is bankruptcy on the table at all? Do you know, that was one of the first questions they asked, Carmen. He says absolutely not because 90 percent, that's $450 million of the DPS debt, yeah. is backed by the state of Michigan. So there's no way that the state can get off the hook by going through Chapter 11, Chapter 19, or anything else that's available to it. He says this has to be worked out with more money. All right. Our Guy Gordon reporting for us live.